G'day guys, welcome back. I'm uh, trying out a few different colours today. But before I show you that, I thought I would just show you my one of my previous pours. That's the all metallic one. Um, no, actually no it's not. This is the one that's got a little bit of the smoky blue in it. The all metallic one's still drying. So that's it there on a 40 by 80 centimetre canvas. I don't know if you can see that glistering in the sunlight, but really pretty. Um, underneath, if I need to support the canvas, I'll just pop something under there, usually a little bit of my puppy pedal pad, and uh, I use these giant push pins to keep the canvas up off the bench. So that's it. Right, put it away. Let's get to pouring. Um, scraped canvas, as you can see. I was trying out some colours and um, I just went with my Floetrol mix just because it was handy and it really is not as good as the mix that I make with the PVA. Um, just give me one sec, I need to get my clock. Okay. Now I can see how long I'm taping for. Right, so um, I'm going back to my mix, my pouring media mix. This is the one I make myself and I just put it in this big three litre milk bottle. Three cups Floetrol, one cup PVA glue, half a cup of pouring medium and a quarter of a cup of water. Mix all of that up and it's ready to go. So in my cups I have this one is global, 50% copper, 50% gold. Um, it's just my own mix. Um, black, global impasto black. Turquoise, global impasto turquoise. And this lovely color here. It's called Deep Sea and it certainly is. It's a dark bluey green colour. Beautiful. And I've also got a little bit of extra black. I've also mixed this three parts, float, uh, three parts pouring medium to one part paint. But I've added just a splash of water. And I'll use this as my flow enhancer if I need to um, put any on the sides or in the middle. Okay, so I think I'll go black first. Then that then that, then that. How's that? Now, for cells, treadmill, uh, silicone. And I'm going to put three drops in each colour. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm not going to do any in the black. And I'll just stir that round three times. Three drops, three stirs. Okay, and then in the black. It's a pretty thick mix. My sticks stand up in there. Right, now no white today. This colour scheme actually happened by accident. Um, I was doing a, a workshop and we had some leftover paint and um, I said, oh, how about we just throw all these paints together and see what happens. And this beautiful um, rosy goldy colour, rose gold, against these turquoise and black, it was so beautiful. So I said, I am going to do a pour in that. Now, I don't know how this is going to work because when I pour in, uh, I'll give it a go. I was going to pour, put some in a spoon and then put it down there because when I do this from here, because it's got such a long way to go, because these cups are so big, the, um, the paint's mixing in there. What if I just do that? How about I just do that? Pour it down the side. That works. Oh, genius. Why haven't I ever thought of that before? Now this copper is um, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. As you know, I always make my metallics a bit thicker. Oh, we'll see how this works, eh? Layering on top, like we layer a ring pour. 
will be interesting. Might have just worked out something new. Just the weight of the paint from up high, you know, it has to come down about, you know, eight inches or so, six inches. It's, um, it's mixing too much in the cup. And I'm getting a bit of a, a blurry finish. lovely sea green. can't buy this one anymore. I'm going to have to make some myself. I'm down to my last little bit. Mm, a little bit of this one. So now that the cups are getting fuller, I can layer without the paints dropping right through. It can just sit on top because it hasn't got that far to go. The last of that. Uh, what will we do next? This, this one. So, what did I mix? I had 170 grams of pouring medium. You go and check. 170 grams of pouring medium to 55 grams of paint. And I had four cups of paint. And this is a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas. So hopefully I have got plenty of paint. The one I did before, the reason I scraped it, hadn't, didn't have enough paint. And that's always a problem. If you don't have enough paint, you have to stretch your beautiful cells way too far and you lose your composition you end up with wobbly cells stretched cells it's just not as pretty as we like so I think I calculated that I have got 300 grams of paint in each of these cups so three six nine hundred grams of paint sounds like a lot doesn't it but if you want a good pour, you need to put in the effort and the time and the money to make some more paint. Otherwise you've got all that trouble and you've got a painting that you're just not happy with. Okay, just give that a minute. Would like to give it a few minutes, but I need to do this first and then talk to you while I'm waiting for this. That would work out better. All right, let's go. Beautiful. A little bit of extras up on the sides. Use that because you're probably going to have to pour off your sides anyway. So this bit here that's a little bit more muddy, use it on your edges. Try not to use it in the middle. I'm happy to go through and put some black in the middle. Which is what I will do. Oh, look at that. Beautiful colour. My rose gold. So now I've got my little flow enhancer here, my black paint that's a little bit thinner than this paint. And I'm just gonna pop it in here, and in there, and anywhere else that I need to cover my canvas. Try to cover your whole canvas if you can, before you start tilting. This is something I've learnt the hard way. And I'm happy to share it with you. My little tip. Cover everything first. Make up your paints. Make up an extra little bit of 
black or white or whatever your main colour is going to be. Make it a little bit thinner because you don't want it to be thicker and then this paint has to sort of stop there because it can't get over the bump if that, if that makes sense, if that paint's too thick. And I'm going to put a little bit of black here because I would like to have a little bit of black there. Okay. Right, little quick cell popping here. Bit of a torch. This middle one's got plenty of cells happening. It's funny how some pores have cells in different places. This has got a lot more black in the middle so the cells are popping through. This one has got a bit more blue so the cells aren't really popping through as much. You see that bit on the side there, the extra bit that's in the bottom of the cup? It's just not as pretty as the rest of it so I'm trying not to bring the extras up through the middle because you get this line and it's just not as pretty. Put it on the side and you can use it to tilt off if you have to. Let's go. I'm going to try not to go too much side to side. Hopefully I've got enough paint just to go up and down, but a little bit side to side just to fill these. Um, if I don't manage to fill them all, that's fine. I'm happy with some black here and there. I've put the black in different spots. And I'm happy with that black contrast. Let's get that bit of corner off there. I'll try for this corner here. Nice and slow. No rush. Take your time. Doesn't want to go. Off you go, paint. Actually, that's not too bad. I can leave that like that. It looks quite nice. Finger swipe. Oh, dirty fingers. All right, turn this around. Make sure that you, when you've picked up your canvas, bring your hands around because you've got paint on your hands and the last thing you want is drips. I've done that before, brought my hand across, dripped everywhere. So don't do that either. Okay, back we go. See, I quite like this bit of black here. This bit of black, I might just actually extend, put a bit more there and just pull that through. Quite like that look. Probably end up pouring this off, but anyway, a little bit of black there. Matches the bit of black there, a bit of black there. Probably should have put some up here as well. But anyway, we'll get to tilting and that black will reduce anyway. I'm not stretching this corner up here too much by doing that. I'll keep that little corner there. That was the leftover cup, but it's okay. I can deal with that. I don't mind a little bit of not so pretty on the corners. It's the middle that is more important, isn't it? Wow, look at that. That is just gorgeous, those colours. So I was after this sort of dark, moody kind of a look. Now I'm just trying to move paint over to that corner there. Leave a tiny little bit of black there. Come back. Okay. What do you think of that? I'll leave it there. Just 
centre the paint a little bit more because up here they're quite stretched. So I'll bring this down a little bit and just see if I can put those back into shape just a touch. So I'll turn it around so that you can see what I'm doing. Oh, nearly brought it over. Okay. So just bringing the weight of the paint back. It's sitting about there at the moment. And I just want to straighten out these cells here. It's so pretty. It's not as dark and mysterious and moody looking as my previous one. It's got a little bit more turquoise in this one. The other one had a lot more black in it. It's still pretty though and I really love this um, rose gold. So pretty. Okay, what else can I do? Mm, that's about it really. Don't want to be moving it any further. Let's torch. Got some nice background, got some beautiful cells, lovely shapes, got big ones, got little ones. Really happy with that. Let's see if we can get any little tiny, any smaller cells to pop up. Just so that we've got some big cells and some different, different little ones. Um, this middle section here, this middle core, really doesn't need any torching. It's got plenty of cells in it. If your silicon's all come up to the surface already as you've been tilting, um, you probably won't get much in the way of cells coming up because the silicone is already at the surface. I'm just going to try over here in this darker section here, see if there's anything under there because it's a little bit muddy looking. I don't know if there's anything under there that wants to come out and play. I don't want to go over it too much because you melt your paint. No, I think that's about it. There's a few little ones that have popped up, but that's about it. I'm really happy with that. I like those colours. I've got nice composition. I'll take you in for a close up. Actually, I'll just take it off the tripod for a sec. I'll take you down. Try not to get in that light glare. That's better, isn't it? Look at those beautiful cells. So pretty. You really want your cells inside cells. Your colours inside other colours makes it really pretty. These up here are gorgeous. Okay, have a go with these colours. It's basically just turquoise, dark turquoise, black and rose gold. Pop your paintings up on the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group, I'd love to see them there. And that's it for now. I will see you for the next pour. Bye for now.